How many parts do you think this is gonna be? This is like much. Oh my god, I forgot a cream. Just, you know, this is much longer than the original declutter I did. That's a powder. I went in. I went in strong in there, thinking it was a cream. I love the highlight. So I keep it for the highlight. I'm gonna put that in my my highlighter drawer. Um, yeah, this is this is a lot longer than the, the original. I know I'm gonna get rid of this one from Concept Culture. I got this in Boxycharm. It just it's neither here nor there. This is hard for me. I really want to keep this one from Odin's Eye. So I don't have anything else from Odin's Eye. I don't think I have anything else that color. Keeping her. Do I need this one? It's pretty light. That was stunning. That's pretty light. I'm going to keep this. Shut up. Don't want to hear it. I mean, like the Milani, I literally, literally have four Milani blushes. This is, this is insane. I do really like this Kimchi Chic. Baylor, stunning Baylor blush and Vacation. I got another one. It's still in the box because this is not the color I was expecting to get. This is in Cheeky. I didn't expect to get some neon pink. Yeah, no, 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 no. I'm gonna get rid of this one. Sorry. Lovely formula. That color is not for me. Okay. <laughs> I have this elf blush, primer infused blush and punchy. I got this for like two dollars. Mm. I'm gonna get rid of this one. It's pretty light. I literally just got it, didn't even try it, but it's it's pretty light. Should I try it? Should I give it a shot? No, tell me not, tell me not, tell me not. Okay. I don't want to keep these Becca blushes, so you can't get them anymore. Flower Child. She's stunning. Um, and Songbird. This is more stunning. Mm, stunning. Let's compare it to the Hourglass Diffused Heat. I'm gonna bite the bullet and get rid of it. I'm not gonna just, I don't even wanna edit the video to second guess it. Just gonna get rid of it. I'm very much afraid of getting these sweatpants dirty. You see me struggling? This is pretty new, the Clinique Pop and Ginger Pop. It's very much like painting for these. Wow, stunning, absolutely stunning. Might be similar to the House Labs, even if it, well, it's not similar. But then I was like, even if it was, would I get rid of it? It's, no, they're not that similar. House Labs stays. Is it similar to the Ciate? I just knew. Okay. Is it similar to Ciate? Mm. Mm. Okay. This is the Ciate Illuminating Blush in Matchmaker. I don't know what finger I put it on. Is it purple? Let's pick this one. This is a bit glowy. I'm going to put that to the side there. I wrote. 
gonna give her to the Naba Skin Blazings. This one is Alola. Oh, that's stunning. Stained. And then Water. Oh, Truth. Sorry. Truth. They're all three pretty different, huh? So then I guess they'll all stain on you. Okay. I need one of these back <laughs> to put them in. Oh my god. I'm dwindling. I'm dwindling. These are pretty glowy, right? As well. Milani. This is Dolce Pink. Too pink, pretty, luminoso, even prettier. Also, that's so light on my arm, but the cheeks, it's really pretty. But I promise. This is Barry Amore. Amore, sorry. Betty, I'm a Okay. Oh no, I just put that on the luminal, so. Um, that's pretty. I love the Milani blushes. Probably the best blush at the drugstore. And this is Petal Primavera. Probably. This, I think this is the blush that got me into like the dusty mauves. Stunning. Wow, Milani, killing it. Okay. I have another drugstore blush. This is Essence in Beloved. I don't like that word, Beloved. I'll get rid of it. Just, just do it. I feel like the cheap like Essence blushes always get cut. Cause I'm like, eh, it was just like three dollars. Which is not fair to them, cause they're it's a good product. <laughs> it's just I don't know. If you're cut on money, then it's a really good blush. I recommend. I have this Laura Mercier grapefruit. It's absolutely stunning. I just got this Tarte Exposed. Which, okay, she's moving in the pan. I thought this wouldn't show up on me, but it actually did, and I really liked it. So, she. <laughs> She stays the marble blushes from Ciate. I'm trying to go through these fast because I literally just swatched like all of these. How the heck did all these things fit? Um, this is dusk, right? That was burnt. Oh no, that was that was dusk. This is burnt. Cute. I mean, those are pretty satin blushes. Um, two leaf blushes. This is Pesca. I keep saving these. And I'm gonna keep doing that. <laughs> and this is Piazza. I want the pinky one. Because now I'm into pinky blushes, so that's fun for me. This is um, Pat McGrath in flirtations keep the packaging because i'm bougie well, this is quite similar to tart exposed quite similar love the formula love the packaging i feel rich um the next are just for collection purposes this is colourpop powerpuff girls saving the world I'll swatch well, for the sake of it. Just a peachy blush. Nothing crazy. And what's crazy is I have palettes, blush palettes. <laughs> oh man. So much blush. That's the other move. That's the other color pop. This is fighting crime, which like probably never gonna wear. Yeah, that's Actually, it's pretty wearable once you like apply it to the face. But 
not the first thought. And this is the Sailor Moon from the moon. Probably wear this one before I wear the other one, but yeah, those are blushes I got rid of. A handful. I just feel like blush is like lip colors where it's like it's kind of okay to have a lot because it's one of the things you you can really switch up pretty often to get yourself a new look it makes any sense so i got rid of these not great not terrible <sighs> all right highlighter is something i skip in my last seat cutter that was gonna be tough um okay I need to buy new organizers because I'm like missing out on space in my drawer from these. I have nine by nine inches long and my, my drawer is like probably eight and a half inches long. So yeah, highlighters. Highlighters. I don't even know where to start. Um the Aura Glola stays. She's Stunning. I could swatch her. I have this little container for when I travel. My um my arm is is um red. I don't know if you can really really see this swatch. Stays. Also, the Charlotte Tilbury Fair Flawless, um, whatever the heck, Flawless Filter stays for Oric. I use Pyrate, right? Pyrate, and this I use four, five, four, five, four, four, four point five medium. I use this like my everyday makeup or when I travel. Stunning. Need another wipe. Do you see me having problems? This is ColourPop Disney, a smile and a song. It still feels good. I just don't use it. Keep it because it's consistent. I've had this for a long time. I'm gonna keep it. Freak! I thought I could be strong. <laughs> this is Wet and Wild. I met someone. Duo highlighter. It's a little bit light for me. I'm gonna get rid of it. I don't know what I get rid of highlighters. I said I was gonna keep this. No special Janona. I like it's the highlighter. I do like the highlighter. Gosh, it is stunning. This is Wet n Wild Balloon Time. It's pretty pinky. I'm gonna get rid of. Dang on Wild. Oh, for two. Okay. Struggling. Essence highlighter. In one zero one mesmerizing. I'm gonna get rid Catrice. I don't think they sell this anymore. More than glow and beyond golden glow. That's stunning. Maybelline Master Chrome. This is a molten gold. Wow. Okay, keep. And rose gold. I'm not even digging that much. Oh my god. Like, you see the difference between the wet and wild and that? Jeez Louise. Okay. Keeping. Also, this is Lunar Beauty. Ju Venus. 
Venus. Oh my god. Freaking absolutely stunning. Okay. Oh, man. Struggling. Okay. Uh, Ofra, Steph Tom's cooking and cream. I don't buy anything Ofra, but I do love Steph Tom's. And this is probably one of my favorite highlighters. Um, Joseph Colors Fuego with Desi and Katie. I keep it for the mems, and it's really, really pretty. Uh, those are colors. I love Sarahi Soulmate. What? Are you kidding? Yeah, highlighters are a struggle for me. This is Fenty Mean Money Hustle Baby. I keep this because my boyfriend bought this for me. <laughs> That's really just for the mems. EBH Amrizi. Um, mine. Mine just killed itself, honestly. I did nothing to it. It just killed itself. It stays because... How could you get rid of that? You're a monster! Nabla Amnesia. Honestly, I keep using this highlight. And that looks better than I've ever swatched it. So, she's gonna stay. So I was talking mad shit about her, and then she wanted to perform. Pixie, the Walsamer duo. Guys, I don't even wear makeup anymore. <laughs> I don't film videos as much as I used to. Like, um, this is Vive. And what is it? Holy Chic. But yeah, I don't. I used to wear makeup only when I filmed, really. Um, and since I'm working, I don't film that much, but I'm trying to make it a goal that I actually start filming more. I just bought this cover FX. I know Kathleen freaking loved, loved on this palette. So hoping, and I keep trying to get rid of this, but it's just so good. The MAC highlighter palette this is like the golden -y one. Oh my god it's just so good i can't get rid of it well i got rid of two three things fantastic beautiful um this is the last of all of my base products um and I did free up a drawer. So I'm feeling pretty accomplished. Really quickly, I can just go through my setting sprays. The, what is this? Benefit Professional. She could stay. She's pretty new. I've had this for a while. I still have product in here, but I'm just not going to use it. The Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Um, I can get rid of this Wet n Wild Wanna Wrestle with Saved by the Bell. I can get rid of the Colourpop Pretty Fresh. Love this. I do. I really do. I'm missing one. Um, I really did love this. Um, and I would repurchase, but right now, it's these are basically the same thing. So you can save your money, but I also got this from BoxyCharm, and I bought it again on BoxyCharm for, I think, something less than $12, which I think this is like $9 to $12 as well. This is old, so I'm getting rid of it. Um, yeah, I bought a backup, so I love this. I think why I prefer this over this is this mister is much better. So keeping that one, I have a backup on the way. This is pretty, pretty, pretty old. It's old. I don't think it's that old. I keep it. I want to use it again. I'm going to get rid of this Morphe Madison, Madison beer. This, this mister is terrible, but it smells good. But I'm gonna get rid of it. Um, I'm gonna get rid of this Wet n Wild Bretman Rock. It's pretty old. I use a lot of it, obviously. It was very good. I'm gonna get rid of this Milani Fruity. I'm, I'm getting rid of it a lot. Keeping this ABH Dewy set. Obviously, I like some Dewy 
setting spray. You can see I've used a good amount of that also. And the, the fancy is almost done as well. Um, I don't like the mister on this and I just love this. So. My sister could probably use it. The Hangover RX 3-in-1 Too Faced. I don't like that. Let me see. Pretty intense, so get rid of that. I keep these for for the mems. The SpongeBob Wet and Wild. I adore SpongeBob, so I have the whole collection. Um, yeah, I'm keeping like half. Getting rid of half. Some of these have to be the romance. I have a literal box of things to get rid of, and these are all my face palettes. Getting anxiety i think i'm gonna get rid of damn this is tough all of these bh blush palettes i have chocolate cherry these are awesome i just don't touch them vanilla cherry i think chocolate cherry is my favorite out of the ones i have and vanilla orange these are great. I think it's just time that I part with them. So yeah, I'm gonna get rid of this BH Totally Plastic Contour. It's fine, not special. I have to keep the Hip Dot SpongeBob Highlighter Palette. I mean, they're great highlighters, but I keep it for SpongeBob. <laughs> Because I love SpongeBob. There's only a few things like I collect for and keep around just for the sake of keeping it around. And it's typically things that spark nostalgia, like SpongeBob or Sailor Moon, anything anime probably, like Avatar I have, and Powerpuff Girls, love Powerpuff Girls, anything cartoon anime. Yeah, that's what I keep. I don't, there's, there's nothing in here. But we keep her stunning highlighter palette from pure hey, pure who's this oh this is touch and soul sorry these are stunning absolutely positively fantastic this is probably something i would take traveling because once i tan i can have a range of color. This is stunning. <laughs> this is huge, but stunning. The the Lorely Los Angeles Glaze Kit. Wow. It's big, but it's beautiful. I wish she came out with them single. Ow. Just freaking rip my skin off, by the way. Absolutely stunning. Trixie, just a girl, I believe, palette. It's a blush palette. I need to swatch that better, sorry. I love this. All this makeup I have out is like dusty. Okay. Random Stussy sticker. This is House Labs Heat Spell Bronzer and Highlighter. Ooh, that's a pretty highlighter. That's a pretty bronzer. This is the Laura Lee Z palette. Hmm. I could probably just get rid of all of this. This is my first, first, first ever highlighter. <laughs> I might just keep, I mean, just like reduced because everything in here is from another palette that I reduced already. So I'm gonna reduce this. Even more. That's pretty. Thank you. Mm. 
It's a beautiful bronze. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, now you're like stuck. Just go. This is EBH. I don't even want to swatch it because it'll make me want to keep it. I think this is a Laura Lee. I just don't need that. Is this like pink? Ooh, that's pretty. It's stuck again. Oh, this is Laura Lee gimmick. That's pretty. Yeah, so I'm going to get rid of the rest of these. And I don't need a Z palette that big, if I'm being honest. Keep those. Oh, this is a W7 Bronze Brilliance palette. These highlighters are pretty well. That didn't wow me. I'm just going to get rid of it. It didn't wow me. I'm going to let it not wow me. Keeping Lunar Beauty Moon Prism. I haven't even tried. The Laura Lee. Get out. The Laura Lee blush palette. <laughs> what is it? The blush aesthetic. Cute. I freaking love the packaging. I love her brand. She's amazing. She's stunning. Okay, keep. Blush palettes for what? I don't even. Okay, anyway, keeping Jaclyn Cosmetics Rouge Romance. Keeping the Benefit Cheek Leader. Don't ask. I, I, whatever. Okay. Um, I'll get rid of the Pixie by Petra. I think this is a blush palette. I'm just gonna I go Physician's Formula Butter Collection with. I don't, I don't know. I can't read the font. This one, let me get rid of this. Those highlighters are stunning though. I'm gonna swatch some. I still want, oh my God, <laughs> very scented. Still gonna keep the Essence Bronze Matte Palette. It's a good bronze palette. <laughs> and it has a good range of color. And I think I'm gonna hang on to this still. This is um BH Cosmetics Tulum. Put that right over the highlight. I'm gonna hold on to this as well. I thought that was the last thing. It's not. I have two Jacqueline duos. I'm gonna get rid of this one. This is Hot Lava Coco Rich. I'll get rid of that one and I'll keep Stay Rosy Yummy Toffee. I got rid of a lot. I kid you not. This is the box to the brim. Brim. Okay. And these things don't fit in here. Hey, Tony. So there's that. Um, I don't know when I'm gonna like cut these parts. Uh, Let's do another round of lips, just to make sure.